Now, let's see, I've made a dot here somehow by clicking, so I'm going to hit Control-Z to undo that. And Control-Z is an important tool. It's the keyboard shortcut that says undo what I've just done. And it's important to start getting in the habit as a designer of using that Control-Z. That's an invaluable tool. So I'm going to curve, and I will curve and then I will draw my next line. I'm just going to use three lines on this one. Straight across the middle, drag it up, drag it down, and one more right across here just for time's sake. And I'll left click again to complete that line. So we have all our lines in position. Now what we want to do now is just check to make sure all these lines go completely off of our canvas because if they're not completely off the canvas when we paint these sections the paint will actually move into unwanted areas and we do, want, we do not want that. Alright so the next thing to do is create an alternating pattern. We're going to alternate both horizontally and vertically. So here are our color choices. Now in Windows Vista and in XP you will simply choose a color, left click on the first color and right click on the second color. However in Windows Vista or in Windows 7 you're going to select color 1 and then pick a color that you would like. I'm going to pick a nice bright yellow summer color and then I'm going to left click on color number two and pick another color perhaps a green well to make it let's make it a little darker now if you want to edit your colors you can do so in the editing box changing the values to more of a deep or more of a tint alright but I'm going to keep mine fairly dark and I'll click OK and there's my new color as color 2. Now when you go to the canvas we're actually going to need the paint bucket tool so I'm going to left click on the paint bucket tool and then it's just a case of left clicking to color that section in. Right click, left click, right click, left click and you'll create an alternating pattern horizontally. Now we're going to do the same vertically or up and down. Right click, left click, right click so since this is green, we're going to need yellow here, green, and yellow. This creates an alternating pattern. Now there you can see I clicked the wrong way. So all I did is right click and changes the color. Left click, right click, 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 left click, and right click. And you can see how quickly you can create somewhat of a cool alternating pattern design that you can use for a background or you can use it for all kinds of things. You can make greeting cards by putting some text on these, whatever you'd like. But what I wanted you to learn is basically how to use the curved line tool and the paint bucket tool to create an alternating pattern. Thank you and I hope you've enjoyed this video.